Hey everyone, it's Nato, and welcome to the very first episode of what I'm going to call The Sunday Drummer. This is where I'll discuss the role of a drummer playing in a church setting and take a closer look at some of the things we encounter every Sunday playing drums. So today we're going to talk about building. I know, right? It's so exciting, right? I know most of you hear building and you're like, come on, Nate. That's really not that difficult. You start small and over a period of time you get big. Quiet, loud. What's so difficult about that, right? And I think that's a big issue I see with a lot of drummers who are playing in worship today. They look past something simple like building and forget that there's so much detail that goes into it. And as a Sunday drummer, we spend a lot of time building. In fact, approximately 70% of all bridges are a build. Um, actually, 73.4468%. What? Uh, huh? But, um, yes. Oh, oh, really, Steven? Yes, I did the math. Cool. Sorry, 73.4468%. Sorry. Well, okay then. We're building a lot during a set each Sunday. Each build needs to serve the song that it's in, and we need a lot of options to make every song's build feel a little bit different. So today we're gonna go over the basics of building. These are the three concepts you can use to build better. Building blocks. Dynamics, duration, and arrangement. Dynamic building is what I mentioned earlier. You start soft, and through time, you get louder. Over the course of eight bars, 16 bars, whatever the length of time your building is. You start quiet, and you get big. Here's an example of building using only a change in dynamics. Okay, that definitely creates a build, but what can we use to make it feel like it's going somewhere else? We can use duration. Duration is the length of note that you're using to string together to create a pulse and give the impression that it's speeding up. So starting with half notes, then moving to quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes, and sometimes even thirty-second notes. I wouldn't recommend that often, but occasionally you can get there. Here's an example of building using only a change in duration. Sounds familiar, right? This is a trick used in pop music all the time before a big drop to make you feel like it's going somewhere else. The final building block is arrangement. This one is a little bit more tricky, a little bit complicated because there's so many more options with this one. Instead of going from small to big or shorter notes to faster notes, this one is just layering between different sounds on the kit. The way we layer these sounds together creates a feeling of tension. Also changing parts, like going from just eighth note building to like an actual tom groove under the ride cymbal. 
we can arrange a part on the drum kit to make it feel like it's getting bigger and going somewhere else. Here's an example of building using only arrangement change. Not bad, not bad. See, all of these pieces on their own do create the feeling of a build. But when you put all three pieces together, you get intensity. And that's the goal of a build, is to create intensity from nothing to something bigger, leading into the next section of a song. Here's an example of all these building blocks together. Listen to how it's getting louder, building in duration, and creating tension using different sounds on the drum kit. Okay, that's it for part one of building. Next time, we're gonna discuss how you can take these three elements and combine them and get into a little bit more detail. I'll walk you through some of my favorite tricks for making builds build better, and I'll give you a bunch of different examples so you can see how they work. Don't forget, like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.